Hi everybody. I thought I would take another look at entry-level MP3 players, and today I have the 64GB MP3 player from AOLK. You may recognize the user interface. It seems to be fairly standard among entry-level MP3 players. However, this has some slight differences. For one thing, the icons are much larger. The navigation is fairly smooth and responsive. And check out the menuing system. So, uh, for example, let's look at the date and time. We'll look at the time settings. We'll go to set time. The options are much larger. So when I see dark gray and light gray, it doesn't seem as ridiculous as it has with other players where I couldn't even read the thing. This is very readable. I, I appreciate that. When evaluating an MP3 player, I assume that most people care about playing MP3 files. So let's go into the music app. And we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. And eventually there, yeah, we have the menu. Let's go into the all songs menu. Now I think that's basically a playlist that it builds for you. And notice that like, like other entry level MP3 players, it maxes out at 4,000 tracks. The first track being the complete list of songs and then followed by each individual song. So let's go into the All Songs menu. We're waiting, we're waiting, and there we go. Now, one thing I like about this implementation of the interface is that the album art, while not completely accurate as far as uh, the aspect ratio, it's pretty close. It looks almost like the CD. However, let's take a look at what happens when you add a Bluetooth device. We're back at the main menu. We're going to add a Bluetooth playback device and we're going to search for a device and we're searching and it found my receiver. So we're going to choose that and we're going to match it up and it should pair fairly quickly. And there we go. So now we're connected to Bluetooth. You see the Bluetooth icon up top. And now let's go back to the now playing menu. Let's turn this down. I don't want you to, I don't want you to get a copyright restriction. Um, okay, so we're going back to the menu, the music application. Going back to the music application. Okay, and now we have the all song, or let's go to now playing. Well, it doesn't matter really, but let's just go to all playing. See how the album art shrank? It's not, well, it's completely the correct aspect ratio now, but it's half the size is what it, of what it was before. And that's because this little Bluetooth icon added four pixels to that display and it no longer has the room it had before. So uh, that's unexpected behavior. I don't necessarily like that. I understand why it's happening, but... Um, Interesting choice. And although I've seen other MP3 players where it just squishes the the album art, and I didn't like that either. So um, I don't know what the answer is. <laughs> Maybe just make the display larger. But um, this is where we're at. So at least you know what you're in for. And here's another quirk in the interface. As you can see, the track is currently playing and the play control is activated. So what happens if I hit the play control again? The play control becomes the pause control and the song is now paused. So the, the control is not telling you what it's going to do, it's telling you what, what it is doing. And uh, it's, that's not normal behavior. The AOC supports all the music formats you're likely to need. MP3, WMA, FLAC, Wave, AAC, AUG, Vorbis, something else, uh, ACELP. So that's not uh, an issue. That's it, a fair representation of what's out there. It claims to be a 64 gigabyte player, and technically I suppose it is. There is no internal memory on this device, so it's completely dependent upon the external card that it ships with. And they do give you a 64 gigabyte card, so it's, it's, it's not a lie. 
but you can put whatever card you want in there, I suppose. I don't know that you need a 64 gigabyte card because of the 4,000 track limitation. Um, however, well, this does support recordings. There's this, this, there's a button here that is your record button and you can record from the radio. You can report, uh, record, uh, this, the, the headphone jack actually doubles as a line in jack. So you can record off of whatever device has a three and a half millimeter plug. Um, so, so that's interesting. And there's also a tiny microphone right here. So you could record off your whatever this this could be your dictation machine so i i don't i that's not a feature i would use myself but that you might be interested in that i just uh so I, anyway, my point being that you could have a large card in here and use it if you were actually using it for recordings or perhaps you have uh uh books books on, uh, well, not on tape, but I mean like audio books um, that were extremely large files, or maybe you're using WAV files or something like that. So it's it's not a complete waste to have a large memory card in this slot, but I'm saying that if you're sticking to MP3 files, 64 gigabyte is, is very much overkill. I get questions from time to time, how do you load songs onto these MP3 players? And it's it's a it's a straightforward process. You take the included USB cable, plug one side into this AOC player, stick the other end into your Windows PC, drag and drop files to the AOC. It appears as an external drive. It's it's easy. Um, don't expect synchronization with your music management client on your PC. That's not going to happen. It's a drag and drop process only. You. If you are a Mac user, you cannot use that method. There are compatibility issues. I think it sees the memory card as a read-only device, and it just it just won't do it. You can take the card out of this and stick it in a card reader and drag and drop files to it that way. Um, and and that's that's actually what I do. I I don't plug this into my PC, so. That's it's not a problem. You can do that if you have a Windows PC as well. I'm just saying you have other you have if you are a Mac user, you do have options. One thing you might want to do with this player is take it to the gym. It's small, it's light, and it's inexpensive. So if it gets banged up or lost or stolen or whatever, it's not a big deal. So let's go to the main menu. And I just wanted to demonstrate that you can uh, play music and use the pedometer at the same time. See, I, I had it running and it's playing music right now. You can play both local files and FM radio and use the pedometer simultaneously. I just wanted to demonstrate that works in case that feature is important to you. I thought I should demonstrate the FM radio functions of this AOC player. Now, it it works well. I think the FM radio in these in this class of MP3 player is generally pretty solid. However, like other devices of this nature, you do need to have a wired headphone plugged in in order to serve as an antenna. But I do want to note, and I don't know if the other players haven't done this, and I and I or I just didn't notice it. But you can have a Bluetooth headphone and a wired headphone activated simultaneously. You can't hear either of them right now, but they are both playing. So if you wanted to share this with a friend or whatever, I don't know what your purposes are for doing that, but you can do that. The AOC does have another quirk, and uh, I don't know what to do about it. If you go into the FM radio function and, and play a station, I don't think there's a way to turn this off. There is no turn the radio off button. It's, so the only thing I've figured out is go to the main menu and to the music app and start playing something there. And then it will turn off the radio. And after that, you can turn off the music. There is a stop button for your MP3. So that's kind of weird, but uh, now you know. This is the third inexpensive MP3 player I've reviewed lately. And while they all have their similarities, I think this is the best of the bunch. The icons are much larger. 
the menus are actually readable. The interface, the touchscreen is slightly faster. Not great, but faster. I would say, and you have to take the price point into account, this is an option for people with limited budgets. And uh, you will have, if you are patient, you will have a decent experience with this. I'm going to give this a three out of five stars. Uh, but please, if you get this, don't use the headphones that come with it. They're they're terrible. <laughs> but this is this is a three out of five experience. Thanks for stopping by.